What's going on YouTube? All to the double E dash Z O N coming at you once again. It's been a little bit since I made a video, but uh, I'm back and uh, really I, I, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with this video because this is the kind of video that you could probably uh, qualify as a rant of sorts. It certainly is that. Uh, and it might actually be more than one part. I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see where it goes, but excuse me. Uh, I mean, that, that's that's where this kind of stuff takes me. Uh, I, I'm I'm getting sick and tired, man. To, to for, for lack of a better term or phraseology, I'm getting sick and tired of coming on YouTube. It's been over seven years now. I've had my channel. I come on YouTube, and every time I go and listen to what someone else in this gaming community has to say, I just get slapped in the face with nothing but rampant stupidity and unmitigated immaturity. Just like immaturity just bu bubbling over the brim. It's, it's just ridiculous, man. Every time. I mean, this has been going on for a generation and a half. Like I said, seven years plus I've had this channel. I started, I think, the second year that the Nintendo Wii was out. From that point to this day, I have seen nothing but a growing... And now it's not even growing anymore. Now it's completely taken over. Now it is the standard. Uh, but back... I mean, I remember making videos back in my first year on YouTube. 2007, I think it was. And, and, and just talking about how I could just see at that point how people were start gamers... We're starting to lose focus on what the fuck really matters when it comes to gaming. This thing of ours. Just completely losing focus on what the fuck matters. And focusing on bullshit. And continually focusing on bullshit and getting their eye off what matters. When there was one company, Nintendo, who continually kept their eye on what mattered... I mean, they're not perfect, but they're, you can see the focus of the company, man. And if you're going to tell me that Sony and Microsoft have more of a, uh, of a focus on what really matters as far as gaming goes, you're, you're, you're out of your goddamn mind. Uh, I mean, just, uh, there's no other way to say it. But that, be that as it may. There was one company that had their, their, their eyes focused on what really mattered. But all the rest of the gamers started paying attention and focusing on what doesn't matter. So when this company stayed with what mattered and didn't give a shit about the bullshit the gamers started giving a shit about, all of a sudden, now that's the enemy. And now, all we do from that point forward in growing increments over time is talk shit about, slam, disrespect, and disregard, and belittle Nintendo. That's what's happened from that point when I started here till now. And now, Jesus Christ. And now, this shit has fully taken over, and now it's not even a conspiracy, like I said before in years past. Now it's not even a, a, a growing influence. No, now it's the fucking way things are. It's not even a conspiracy. Now it's just Nintendo is the, the red-headed stepchild in the industry, when reality is, Nintendo is the fucking industry itself. Nintendo is the reason there's a fucking industry. But, you know, be that as it may, that doesn't matter, right? I mean, dude, I come on here, and I see, I mean, you guys have heard, it seems like every one of my videos for like the last, I'd say, two months or so, every one of my last four or five videos, it seems like they've started off with me saying a phrase kind of like this, you know, certain YouTubers that I respect and watch, and then blah, 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 and it's the same thing here. YouTubers that I've watched over the last couple of years that that has, some of them were fucking Nintendo Wii U activists, for lack of a better term, straight up activists. You can see these dudes making videos, and in their spare time, you would not be surprised if they were fucking camped outside of the headquarters for Microsoft and Sony with fucking picket, you know, picket signs and shit, just, you know, protesting. It was like they were that gung-ho about the Wii U. At the same time... They did not miss a single opportunity to slam or shit on anything Sony or Microsoft did. All of a sudden now, three years later, the tides have turned and now these same people hate the Wii U. And now they're fucking riding Sony and Microsoft's cock all the way to the bank. And the funny part about all of that is while they're doing that, they still ain't got no games. But it doesn't matter, though, because we hate the Wii U right now. 
We hate the we we hate what Nintendo's doing right now. I mean, it's it's unbelievable to me, man. It's unbelievable to me that people can be so. Now, I'm not saying we don't have the right to change our minds. I'm not saying we don't have the right to say, you know what? I'm a fan of this company, but this particular system that they've dropped, you know what? I I, I tried to support it. I got on board, but you know, I just, I, you know, it's it's a miss for me. I really don't like it, man. And I'll be back because that's my company. I'll be back when they drop something that I can get with this. I this I I just I don't like. It. I have no problem with that. But then you come out and there's a there's a passionate hatred for the Wii U when you were riding its its shit a year ago, and, and it's like I, I don't I don't get it, dude. I don't get how a, a piece of plastic can 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 warrant such a strong emotional response as as far as hating it, like it killed your parents or something, dude. It's it's unbelievable. I'm hearing people out there in YouTube land talk like this, and it's like. I, I don't get it, and please don't don't give me the bullshit excuse of oh because I'm a gamer and I'm passionate and yeah yeah rah rah rah. I can fucking turn around and show you my collection right now. I, I doubt very much, very much that you're on my level as far as how passionate I am about this gaming thing since I was about five, about five years old. I'm actually making it my goddamn life's work, by the way. Okay, so don't give me that bullshit excuse. At the end of the day, this is gaming. It is precious. It's a hobby, but it's fucking gaming. Okay, all those systems I got right there, they're pieces of plastic, all right? They don't warrant any hatred from me. You know, they don't even warrant any love from me. The experiences they created and the games, that's where the love is. That's where the joy is. But they're just pieces of plastic, man. Get a fucking life. You know, and it's like, that's not the only thing. The thing is, the other thing is the flip-flopping, man. The goddamn flip-flopping. You know why I could never be accused, realistically accused of flip-flopping? If I were to say right now, let's say, let's say right now, I would drop everything and, because I found reason to, because I, I think now all of a sudden there's value in it and I want it, buy, bought an Xbox One. Being as disregarding of Microsoft as I've been throughout my entire gaming career. You know why that can't be considered flip-flopping? Because if you look back at my history, I've always said, I don't think they're good. I think they make garbage systems. But I'm always open for them to change my mind. I'm not closed off. Yeah, if you, if you look at, the, at, the, at the, the, the pie chart of my gaming fanhood, 95% of it is Nintendo. Without shame, and that's being modest. 5% of it is Sony. There is no Microsoft in there. But if Microsoft comes out and shows me something I like, I'll go and buy that shit because I'm a gamer. But you, when you sit there and it's like, oh my god, no, the Wii U has the best value. And the Wii U this, 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 this. And you not only point out that Sony and Microsoft don't really have much going for them right now, but you take, you take it extra and you want to shit on them. And you want to embarrass the people that are behind Sony and Microsoft. You've made yourself one dimension. Oh, this is your system. But now, all of a sudden, a couple years later, you hate that system. And now you're what, Sony and Microsoft? The, the goddamn flip-flopping, man. These are fucking game systems, okay? Yes, we have our preferences. Yes, we have our favorites. Yes, we have those that we particularly don't care for too much. But Jesus Christ, man. The flip-flopping. Dudes that get their Wii U's. Uh, or even their PlayStations, whatever, and and, and and ride or die, PlayStation, da, 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 and then see that nothing is coming out, then they trade it in, which is what I would do, that's fine, but then they go and they just continually bash it and talk shit about it like it's an ex-girlfriend that did them wrong. Get the fuck out of here, man. Let's grow, let's grow a pair of nuts, man. Let's get the fuck up and be adults, man. You don't like the system, don't like it. But you sit there and trash everybody under the sun that loves it. Because, yeah, the Wii U may only have a 10 million install base, or 11 million, or whatever it is now, compared to Microsoft and Sony. But you know what? That's still 10 or 11 million people out there that are ride or die for this system. And you know what? It has a higher attach rate with its games than the other two systems combined. So while it's only 10 or 11 million, those 10 or 11 million are buying games on that system and enjoying games on that system. Which, the last time I fucking checked, that's what the fuck making a game system was all about. It wasn't about media features. It wasn't about Twitch and, 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 and Facebook and, and YouTube. It wasn't about anything but buying a piece of plastic that powered on, that you stuck a disc or a cartridge in, and it projected an image of a game on the screen, and you played and had fun. Jesus Christ, man. Every fucking time I turn on YouTube and go here, there's always some... It, 
And like I said in my last couple videos, it's not just these people. It's also Nintendo fans. There's Nintendo fans that I hear out there talking like, if it ain't Nintendo, then it sucks. You know? And it's like, oh, you know, like I, I, like I said in the last video or a couple videos ago, I've heard people say that games like, for example, Mortal Kombat X are ugly. And that they look no better than a, than a mid-generation Xbox 360 game. I, 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 that's called hatering. You just hating right there, because I can look at PlayStation Four games and say that visually, I mean it's not by a lot, but it is noticeable. They're nicer looking than Wii U games. I don't have a fucking problem admitting that. I don't give a shit because it's not about that. That's a, one piece of the pie. But I can look at a Wii U game and say, God damn, I have so much fun with this fucking game that even that PlayStation Four game that looks a lot better visually. I just don't get that with this game. Like, I get it with this Wii U game. It's gaming, man. It's gaming. You could, you want to be single-minded or only for one console? I give you... You're well within your rights to do that. But what you're not within your rights to do is step all over everyone else and disrespect and name-call and shit-talk people who spend their all our money on whatever the fuck they damn well please just because it's not what you would have bought. I'm a Nintendo fan. I'm a gamer first, and after that, I'm a Nintendo fan over Sony, and definitely over Microsoft. But I enjoy Sony, too. If Sega were to jump back in the console race, I'd have that motherfucker day one. It's gaming, dude. It's gaming. Learn to have your fucker. And then uh, you know, the other thing is, then I see these people, they flip-flop, and, they, and, and, and they, they jump off the Wii U bandwagon, and they hate Nintendo, or they hate the Wii U. They love Nintendo, but they hate the Wii U. And, da, 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 da. and they literally go to beef and war over this shit, right? Over these pixels you see on the screen, over camera videos. With dudes that they used to podcast with, comrades that they used to fucking enjoy playing games with and talking about. Like if they're fighting over a girl. It's, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous, man. I'm 31, well, I'll be 32 goddamn years old in a month and a half. I, 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 I don't see how dudes the same age or older could be on this motherfucker beefing over video games. I don't get it. Y'all keep doing that, Paul. Y'all keep doing that. You know what I'm going to be doing? Finishing my beer, enjoying my beverage, waiting for my beautiful wife and kids to get home, enjoying some Yoshi's Woolly World on the Wii U, Enjoying some Mario Maker on the Wii U. Maybe I'll get into some NBA 2K15 uh, on the on the PS4. Still ain't got that 16 yet. And enjoy my games on my myriad of systems. That's what I'll be doing. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you guys. Y'all drive me to drink. I swear to God, I don't, I don't know what you guys. Where the fuck your head is at? I don't get it. Uh, there, there will be a part two to this video because it's another one. Uh, one other thing I want to touch on uh, that goes with all that I've been saying. Uh, just grow the fuck up, man. Just grow the fuck up, man. Play your games and enjoy them, man. Gaming, last time I checked, was meant to bring joy and fun. It's a hobby. It's a passion for me. But it's a hobby. It's 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 to have fun. It's to it's to enjoy your leisure time at doing the best thing you could think of in my case it's video games it's supposed to be fun you know we're not we're not supposed to be beefing no no nobody's come at me i'm not saying that i'm i have an issue with this one that one or the other i haven't had anybody come at me i'm just seeing dudes go at each other and it's like god damn really really you spend a year doing fucking podcasts together and because you feel a certain way about this game and they feel a completely different way well oh shit let's go to war Get the fuck out of here man There'll be a part two, man.